ninth grade year. I still was shy, I still was introverted, still didn't want to talk to nobody. A guy named Ernest Walker came to my house and was like, Fred, you been this talent show with me, I'm a talent show with McLean. I said, you mean get up in front of people on stage and, 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 and do something? It's like, yeah, man, you got the equipment. I know you're writing the raps. You can be in it. I was like, I wish I would. I gave him an emphatic no. And some of you guys should say no, not for those type of things. You should say no to other things that people are asking you. One of your favorite words in life should become no. Because people are going to ask you, they're going to use you, they're going to abuse you if you keep saying yes to things that you should be saying no to. But they say persistence overrides resistance. And in my heart of hearts, I really wanted to do it, but I was just shy and I was weak and I still was being bullied. But I knew when I made that prayer, when I was on, the, on that swimming pool and I found that sign, I, I was hoping to get a sign from God. And I think this was my sign from God. This dude came over my house for 14 straight days. Boom, 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 boom. Fred, you gonna be a talent show with me? I said, dude, I told you no already. Why do you keep asking me this? Day number three. Nope. Day number four. Nope. Five. Nope. Ten. Nope. Eleven. Nope. Twelve. Nope. Thirteen. Nope. Day number fourteen. Ooh. Day number fourteen, bro. It's a life changer. He came over my house. And I, may, I don't know if it was just the fact that he wore me down, or maybe it was just the fact the way he said he tested my, my man, not my man, he tested my boyhood, my teenhood. He said, Fred, you gonna be in a talent show with me, man? I said, why don't you stop acting like a little old punk and be in the talent show? Punk? Did he just call me? He just, did he just call me punk? Before I knew it, I was like, I do it, leave me alone. I said, oh, snap, I didn't commit it. See, in life, when you commit to something, back in the day, for sure, when you gave somebody your word, your word was your bond. That's one thing that was instilled in me. And so whenever you give somebody your word, you make sure you stick to it, okay, bro? Don't ever forget that. Don't be, don't, don't be somebody that people can't trust. Have that integrity. And so I was still scared to death, or as we said, I was scared to death with an F. But I said I was going to do it. And instead of being scared, I found all the ways to talk myself out of it. But once I made that decision to do it, I started talking myself into it. I, I decided to talk myself into it. You can do it. You can do it. I got in the mirror. I started practicing. I said, I ain't going to rewrite a Run DMC rap this time. I'm going to write my own rap. And so I put the pen to the paper and I was practicing in the mirror. And then it was, it wasn't even a talent show. It was a dog on tryouts for the talent show. And they called our name. And yeah, I was scared, but I was prepared. And I took a deep breath and a beat came on like Ramal hit a few minutes ago. And I said, call me Mr. Chiller, don't call me at all. This is exactly where I look to. Cause when I'm on the mic, I'm standing tall. I'm five foot four when I'm talking to you, shorty. But when I'm on the mic, I'm seven two. Everything in my life changed at that moment in time. All the shyness went away. All the confidence came. When I went to school the next day, people started talking to me. I'm like, oh, this is weird. Oh, hey, what's up, Freddie? Hey, hey, what's up, Freddie? I was rap master chill then. And they wanted me to rap at talent shows and things like that. So hip hop was my release. Finally struck gold. One, two, and you don't stop. I fell in love when I got introduced to hip hop. My new release, we all need a good release. When I put my pen to pad, it gave me total inner peace. So let me introduce the new me to me. Confidence erupted, I was truly thankful, blessed. No longer just the guest in my own mind. My friends, dig deep and you will find that greatness lives in you, so go retrieve it in your mind. Keep pushing through, be patient, it will happen in due time. See, the fish can only bite if you keep casting out your line.